All right, y'all. Good morning. Happy Monday. We are picking our vlog right back up. Just did an order for Whole Foods, but I did make me a smoothie for lunch. And then I also made just a quick little, it don't look too appeasing, but um, I also made a quick little egg sandwich to go with um, my smoothie. So, um, right now, I'm going to finish bringing in these groceries really fast. I had to order some. This is why I'd be very adamant about where I order my vegetables and my fruit because I have went to Target like two days ago and all the strawberries I bought from Target are rotten. And when I picked them up, of course they weren't rotten, but I went to make a smoothie today and they were all bad. So. I was like, well, let me get it. Let me get it where I know it's good. Let me grab these waters and then we're gonna come eat our food and edit. So let me go do that. Alrighty, so we are almost done editing. Um these ugly nails, but <laughs> we're almost done editing. I'm exporting and then I need to move on to the next thing. I just wanted to say. I know on this vlog, I always talk about how much I need to clean up and how much my house is a mess. Like, I've been joking with my cheerleaders and saying, I'm gonna send them my address so that, so that they can come over. And every time they be like, send it, I'd be like, okay, for real, I need to clean up. Like, I can't have company with a messy house. I'm so serious. They think that I'm being dramatic. I have not had time to clean up my house. Like, the last vlog, I feel like every time I sit down and edit, I'm always talking about cleaning up. And I don't have time to clean up. Like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what the missing piece is. I know that I've been busy since school has gotten out. Like, summer has hit me full throttle. And I just haven't had time to sit down and clean up. It's just been like one thing after the other after the other. Then house projects picked up a little bit. Now that that's done, um, now I think today I could kind of hit some of it. But I'm still trying to run a business i'm still trying to be consistent in vlog and edit on youtube and post on instagram so it's just a lot going on and i know i made a comment about cleaners and stuff like that but i'm still trying to hold it down on my own y'all i really am but yeah i'm just like okay it may not look like much i promise y'all it's a full bed um, it's the leather upholster bed. All the pieces are on the inside. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure this leather looks all right. All right. All the um, all the pieces are actually. If you flip this headboard over, they're all on the inside of this bed. Um, I've read a lot of reviews on it, and it said that it's not hard to put together. Because I was like, how are they gonna ship a bed? with all the pieces on the inside like is this bed gonna be able to hold up my mattress because i showed y'all the mattress we got which is pretty dang heavy um but it should be all right this is the bed frame um yeah let me see i went over and i looked at the quality of it it's really nice so i'm not mad at it um yeah so Waiting for Mark to come home and put this together. And he knows how I am. I was going to try to do it myself. But be, the fact that the mattress is so dang heavy, it spared me. Because I think I explained to y'all, boy, getting that mattress was no joke. Um, we had all hands on deck. Like, my husband wasn't here but my brother was here thank god so he was able to help me pull it in the guy who dropped it off had to help us it was a one-man show um and then I, I i had to even call my mom outside to help us we was out there struggling y'all i think i said this in a vlog before but i fell i have broken nail which caused me to have to go to the nail shop today to get my nails done i have broken nail um thank god we didn't bring anything in the house 
but y'all i would do it myself but i can't move the mattress like it's not even possible i would be in here falling apart and breaking stuff because it's just that it's like lifting dead weight but i've rambled enough i'm gonna go ahead and go <laughs> all right y'all so I realized that in, in the midst of editing two other videos, I've had this shirt on a few times, but I promise y'all I'm clean. It's just like a rollover between two days. Um, yeah, I'm clean. Don't worry. Don't worry. But anyways, on to something else. I want to show y'all these. Um, okay, so I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all these pillowcases I ordered off Amazon before I start cleaning up. So ignore the background. But these are linen, um, beige. They're either, I think they're linen or beige pillow, pillow covers. Throw pillow covers. These are 26 by 26. So we upgraded our bed to a king size recently, which is what we're waiting to put up. I showed, I told you guys we'll put that up when Mark gets home. And I was struggling with what size throw pillows I wanted to put on my bed. So I had to do a little bit of research because I do have, I think, let me show y'all, are also 26 by 26, I believe. These go on my couch. Um, so I didn't know if I want to do the same size. So I end up going with the same size for my bed, but I did not order the same ones, which I'm kind of on the fence about if I want to return these. I think I'm going to keep them. These are 26 by 26 pillows as well. So here's what they look like. They're completely different material than these ones. These ones are the down field um, pillows. So they have those feathers inside. So they're really like, like they're just, they're really comfortable. Um, these ones are made out of, I really don't know. They feel like, I don't know y'all. I'm a little skeptical about these ones. I'm going to keep them for now. Um, Cause when you put the, the, case, the pillowcases on them, they are pretty cute. Um, I had to order when you go up to 26 by 26, I had to order, um, of course a quantity of two, four, uh, cause they don't come in three, which they really should consider making these pillows in a quant quantity of three because they're so big. Um, but anyways, so here's what they look like inside the pillowcase. Um, Let's see here, I'm gonna zip this up. And here's what they look like. So they're cute, they go, they actually really, I like them because they match perfect with the chairs in my room. I mean like, it couldn't match any better, honestly. Um, and then, these are the covers for my couch. And here's what these look like. They're also linen, they're just, a darker color it doesn't really show up on camera but they are a darker color than the ones that are made for my bed um, these ones you just go ahead and scrunch these on up in here too uh, so I did order all of these pillows the throw pillows the throw pillow covers I ordered all off of Amazon as I do always a hack that I had heard before is that you can go get um, you can go get throw pillows from like Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and just order the covers off of Amazon. Like if you find them cheaper there. I didn't try to do that because I knew the size I was looking for and I just wanted to order it and have it in time for when our bed came. But that is another hack you can do. I just find it hard because I am using lighter pillow covers um, that I don't want the you know, sometimes at stores like that, they be having designs and stuff on them. But, so these are the pillows for my couch. And these are the covers. And like I said, these ones are very, if you wanna do the chop, they chop very easy. Versus these ones, these ones don't, these ones ain't chop style. <laughs> these ones don't chop very, um, they chop a little bit. But I probably, you know, it's, it's cool. I don't need to chop everything 
um, but I do like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on really quick because the time is winding down for the hub to get home. And I wanna have, I wanna see the full, like you know, like you wanna see the full effect of how things come out. So just to see if you actually like it, you know what I mean? I am gonna have an extra pillow actually because I can't fit all four of these pillows on my bed. So I'm thinking one of my couches, probably the one against this wall here, will probably have uh, three big pillows on it instead of two now because I mean heck what can I do with an extra there's nothing I can do with it um, besides put it on the couch because it, it literally can't fit on my bed so there's that I did get um, before I finish that let me show you, before let me before I put these in let me show you what else I got is I got everything new for my bedding, but the problem is I washed everything. So it's gonna be hard to be kind of hard to show you, but some things are still put up. Like this is a box spring cover because we do have a box spring uh, for the bottom of our bed. Um, if you have a bed that shows your box spring even just a little bit, instead of doing a bed skirt, you could do a box spring cover, which makes it look so much neater. If you haven't thought to do that, I know that's not genius, but. If you haven't thought of it, it's a heck of a fight. It's a heck of a fight. I got a mattress topper. Um, even though our mattress is brand spanking new, um, it comes with a cover, like this built-in cover on top of it, but I always like to have a mattress topper because it just makes your bed that much cozier. Ordered my king size comforter, which goes inside of my duvet. I haven't quite opened this yet, but the brand is Bedshore. So I love this brand. This is the brand that we have in our sheets. I ordered, so when we had a queen size bed, our duvet and all of our sheets were by Bedshore. One set of our sheets, sheets was by the brand. I think they're called Milani or something like that. It was by that brand. I like those sheets too. So I did the same thing with our king size. Brie now has, because before she had a full size bed, she now has a queen size bed. And so now she has all the sheets, all the duvets, because I ordered so many for me. And I ordered a few for the, um, she's a queen size duvet on her full size bed anyways, but now she just has double of everything, like triple. Me on the other hand, I had to order everything all over again. So I did order uh, a comforter. I ordered two duvets because I don't like having just one thing for your bed because you I switch it off weekly. I ordered four sets of sheets. Um, and yeah, like I said, the sheets are by the brand Bedshore. And then one of the sheet sets is by the brand Milani, if I'm not mistaken. I'll link them. And what else did we get for our bed? Um, that's it, y'all. I can't think of anything else. Everything else was literally bedding, like bedding, bedding, bedding. And it's crazy how much, not, it's not really crazy, but we spent a lot on sheets and covers and duvets and, but I guess because I ordered multiple of everything that it just started to add up a little bit, but you know, your bed is your sanctuary. You want it to be comfortable. You want it to be, you know, you want it to be somewhere that you want to lay down at the end of the night. And your room, honestly, it's not even just your bed, your room is your sanctuary. That's where you spend your most intimate time. Um, at least in our house. Uh, yeah, so you want your room to be somewhere that you want to vibe like you I like you know you want your room to be your spot so that's why it's okay if you if you go a little crazy with your room budget <laughs> talked about this before in the vlog don't rush to get furniture like whatever you do don't rush to get furniture and I was I was talking about this last night actually and I was like if I could tell someone else who just bought a house that would probably be the first advice that I would give is just don't rush to get furniture. Like it's literally, you have, you can't put your house together in a day. It's just not practical. It's stressful. It's 
unnecessary stress on yourself um because what you don't understand is that people who have houses is like we understand the process of putting a house together and it's not an overnight process but the problem is, is that that's that's the only thing that's shown when it comes to like people whether it's on here on youtube or instagram or tiktok whatever everyone's showing the end product of like oh look at our house tour but sometimes some people get it done like this first of all it's like it's so many different entities that go into furnishing the house finances shipping is all thrown off since covid stuff is out of stock you can't find things um like i said quality has gone down it's just so many different things um but so sometimes it's like people don't show the process of like hey it may have taken them a year to furnish their house or like i said some people put together like for instance our house is put together with things that we already had which i am grateful and actually really happy that i slowed myself down and i didn't just throw away like all my old furniture i was humble enough to recycle pieces um because it's needed like especially when we we had to furnish a four bedroom house so that's a lot including a kitchen nook a dining room an office um and all that so that's a lot a lot for us so being humble enough to say hey i need to recycle some pieces we mix old with new um and yeah so i just went off on a whole tangent but that would be the first um, advice I would give is don't rush it. Take your time and fill your house up with things that you like. If you that means you like to say, if you are moving from an apartment like we did, don't feel obligated to throw out all your apartment furniture. Put it in your house first and see where certain pieces work because you may like it. You know what I mean? People think because when you move, every every move does not require new things. It just doesn't. And I'm mad that I, I was ever in a space to believe that because that's BS. Like, honey, stuff is too expensive. Like, you'll be out of a house and a home trying to furnish everything at one time. That's just my little word of advice. So, anyways, I'm about to finish. Um, and it's funny because, like, when we were first moving, my mom was trying to tell me that. And I was being so hard-headed. Like, no, no, no. I have to have my house furnished. Like, I have to get everything done. Like, stressing, literally. Like, oh, my gosh. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? How Girl, maturity kicks in. Humbleness kicks in. And you like, what, what, what? What am I stressing for? Like, so I'm just here to tell y'all to deliver the same message. Don't stress over furnishing your house. It will get there. Um, like I said, we're still not there. So, um, you know, our kitchen table, we need new chairs in there. It's always something too that's gonna, that you're gonna feel like you need to update. But take your time and do it room by room if you can. And the things you can replace, replace them. Like I said, the things that require a heavier load of finances, wait on those things. Um, you know, so especially what that's whether you buy old or new home, that has nothing to do with if it's old or new. Furniture is expensive, regardless, houses are expensive, regardless, everything's expensive right now, regardless. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say on that. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my pillowcases on these pillows, and I'm gonna finish doing some laundry. By the time I click back on, the hubs should be here and then y'all should be watching us put our bed together or at least the end product. So let's, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll talk to y'all later.
mess that I'm gonna clean up in a minute but um, here is the overall view of the bed like I said our room's a mess I'm gonna clean it up tomorrow um, we're still gonna get a bench at the end I just ordered the same one that I had before because I put the old one in Bray's room and that was the older one so she got the older one and then we're just gonna put the same one but now that I have the bed here in made I'm kind of have regrets because I should have ordered a longer one um, so I may actually get on Amazon and try to cancel the one that I got and get something that's a bit longer if they have one um, but I'm gonna see all right y'all good morning and happy tuesday it's june 7th which means it is officially my mom's birthday so i went and i got her some stuff from victoria's secret just some basics she needed i got her this summer dress from h and m i got her this diana ross shirt because she loves graphic tees um and then she's not supposed to be eating sweets y'all but since it's her birthday i put a note in here that says she can get sugar wasted today she's not gonna eat all that that's it's for us too um we also shouldn't be eating sweets but you know you have to enjoy life a little bit and take that off but just got her pink cake happy birthday mom crumble cookies in here actually look okay these are the crumble cookies i wasn't really too fond about the flavors this week which i'm kind of upset about but i don't know this one is supposed to be a pancake i'm i'm really curious to see how that one tastes and then they have ice oatmeal, which is not bad. Um, some lemon berry and then creamsicle and then snickerdoodle. So we'll see how those taste. I wasn't really too fond of the, of the ones this week, but she said she's been craving, craving, craving crumble cookies. So I made sure to get that. Um, got her card. I'm about to run to the bank real quick and fill that up with some money. And this is her little birthday setup. So. y'all so mark's headed in but i'm giving him his birthday presents like a week early just because i just don't want to wait anymore those are the black and white dunks and then he wanted to build this lego porsche but he's on his way in so um huh yeah so i'm about to surprise him with his gift early the update on the bed um and this psycho i look i have put all the stuff in the trash too i haven't i'm i'm ashamed i know She wants to be boxed. Box. Okay. All right. So let's see his reaction to his gifts. All right, y'all. Fair to say, Granddaddy likes his gift. These are the. You call these the panda ducks? Yeah, maybe. He got the Lego. Um, Lego set. Uh, I'm never going that close. I know. I said like, just today he'll go in it, but. And then we got one more thing coming, and that's it, baby. What's up then? We can't. Right, I'm finally making progress, clean my room, so I got that big box cleaned up. Um, bed is finally cleared off. I showed y'all I made it and everything. I just didn't show all the pillows on it, which are, um, which are right there. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for this. This is a room spray, earth and hand. Um, it's the scent Pompous. If you have not tried this, it's from Target. It's only six dollars, I think. Seven, only seven dollars. Um, it smells really good, really, really, I mean, really good. So, only thing is, I didn't read it, it says keep away from children and pets. I think dogs are allergic to pompous, if I'm not mistaken. So, wipe in the water if it persists, keep out of reach of children and pets, spray twice to fragrant space. Hmm. I don't know what that's about, but I sprayed it in my bathroom away from my dogs. Um, uh, one of my dogs is over there asleep, so I don't want to spray it with her in here, but I sprayed it in the bathroom. Hopefully it doesn't bother, but I'm a little nervous about that part, but it smells really good, so go try it. Okay, I just want to show y'all that I'm watching P Valley. This is episode one. Mom's is episode one. Well, anyways, we are caught up, but they just been watching the old episodes, so I said I watch them too, but I haven't watched the episodes yet. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
my brother's over there being stinking booty. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, watch this show, and then we'll catch up with y'all tomorrow.